In this video, you will see how to use Excel in order to create three different types of charts. The first chart that we're going to create is a pie graph. So we enter in our answers for our question here. Our question is, what is our favorite type of computer? And here is our frequency, the number of responses we have for both. So we first want to highlight all of our data. We want to go to the insert tab and here is our charts group. Here's our pie chart. And you can select any of these basic types of charts that you would like. Now we need to make specific changes. In the center we have chart styles. So these are typical formats that you can select. And as you can see, one of them already calculates the percentages for you. We can add a chart title. as well. So we can click on just a regular cell and now we're no longer attached to that particular chart. Now we want to create a bar graph. So once again, same process, highlight your data, insert, here's our bar, and Excel calls it a column chart. And we can select the basic one. We can enter our chart title. And we also need access titles, just so everyone knows exactly what this information represents. So we have a plus sign here, and the second option, access titles. So on the vertical axis, this is our frequency. On the horizontal axis, this is our type of computer. And just like with the pie chart, there are other options that you can select as well. You can also change the color of the columns if you want. It's all completely up to you. So once again, click on another cell that takes you off of your particular chart. You can change the size of your chart and move it to a new location. Now we wanna create a relative frequency bar graph. And there are a couple of different ways you can make this happen, but here's one way. We're gonna calculate the percentage by hand so we're going to type an equal sign in this cell. Equal lets Excel know that we're about to type in a formula. And we want the sum, the total number of respondents we have. So we have 60 people who answered our survey. And this, another equal sign, we're about to enter in a formula. The percentage of people who like PCs, we take our frequency 25 and divide it by our total. That's our decimal value. If we wanted the percentage, we can multiply by 100. And this is the same exact value we would get from the pie chart. Equal sign again. Number divided by our total. Same thing we get from our pie chart. So now we want to highlight our types of computers and the decimal values. So we're gonna highlight these two, and then we're gonna press and hold the control button. Control allows us to select non-continuous cells. Now we have both of those highlighted in the same process. Insert, bar chart, also known as column. Now you see your vertical axis is the actual relative frequency. We can change our type title. We can add our axis titles. We can change colors if we like. We can put these values actually on our chart if we like. 
completely up to you. So those are our three charts, our pie chart, our frequency bar chart, and our relative frequency bar chart.